What if I told you a silent traveler from the depths of space just aimed a perfect signal at Earth, vanished before anyone could track it, and might already be closer than we think? Stay with me because what happens next will shock you. Imagine this, in the silent hours before dawn, when the desert air over California feels cold enough to freeze thought itself, NASA's deep space network locks onto something it has never heard before, a pulse, a rhythm, a deliberate whisper cutting through the darkness between the stars, you know? If you're captivated by the mystery of Three Eye Atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. This wasn't static. This wasn't the soft hiss of cosmic background noise. This was structure, a perfectly repeating pattern that unfolded with absolute precision, lasting 11 full seconds each time before falling silent only to rise again like a cosmic heartbeat exactly every 47 minutes. A signal so clean, so intentional, that the engineers watching the monitors simply froze, you know? And the source of that pulse? Not a comet, you know, not an asteroid, you know, but the interstellar wanderer known as Three-Eye Atlas, an object already infamous for breaking every rule of celestial mechanics the moment it drifted into our system, you know? Inside mission control, the atmosphere shifted from routine observation to electric disbelief. Teams ran diagnostics, rebooted systems, even swapped receivers, desperately hoping to find a loose wire or a faulty sensor. But every test came back clean. The pulse was real. It was steady. And then something even stranger happened. You know, instead of fading as the distance increased, the signal began to grow stronger, slightly at first, then rapidly doubling, then tripling in intensity over just a handful of hours, it was as if something inside that hollow traveler was waking up, powering on, preparing. The question no one dared to speak out loud was the one hanging over every workstation in the room. Was this a greeting, a warning, or the beginning of something we were never meant to understand? Stay with me. Because what NASA discovered next didn't just challenge everything we know about the universe. It shook the very foundation of what we believe is possible. So, when NASA first picked up that strange repeating pulse from 3 Eye Atlas, most inside mission control clung to the simplest hope they had, a glitch, a stray echo, maybe a wandering satellite bouncing a distorted signal back toward Earth Anything was better than accepting the possibility that something out there was speaking with intention. Yeah? But the moment the frequency analysis arrived, everything changed. You know? The transmission was coming through at exactly 1.42 gigahertz, a frequency astronomers around the world know as the hydrogen line, the universal calling card, the quietest, cleanest channel in the cosmic spectrum, a place where intelligent beings would send a message if they wanted it to be heard by everyone, everywhere, no matter how distant their world might be. You know, hydrogen is the fingerprint of the universe. Every species looking at the stars, from the simplest observers to the most advanced civilizations, would understand it. Whoever crafted this signal did not want to hide. They wanted to be understood but here is where the mystery deepened. I kind of, inside each 11 second pulse were layers, nested structures, patterns folding into more patterns, hidden beneath the surface like encrypted whispers. Imagine a version of Morse code so advanced it unfolded across multiple dimensions of time, weaving meaning into the silence between beats. This wasn't just a tone, it wasn't even just a message. It was messages inside messages, each one more complex than the last. NASA pulled in cryptographers, waveform experts, and artificial intelligence teams running simulation after simulation, dissecting every fragment of the pulse until one conclusion chilled the room into silence. The odds that this happened naturally were less than one in a hundred. In other words, overwhelmingly artificial, if it wasn't accidental and it wasn't random, then something out there was reaching out on purpose. You know? But before anyone could fully decode what it meant, 
The signal did something no one was prepared for, something that turned curiosity into fear, you know, because just when scientists thought they understood the rhythm, the transmission shifted, you know, it evolved, you know, stay with me. What happens next is the moment the universe stopped whispering and began staring directly at us. You know, three days after that first eerie detection, just as scientists were beginning to map the hidden patterns in the pulse, just as scientists were beginning to map the hidden patterns inside the pulse, everything changed in a way no one could explain. What had been a broad, steady cosmic broadcast suddenly sharpened, the tone tightened, the bandwidth narrowed, and then, with a precision that should be impossible across billions of miles, the signal locked onto a single target, you know, Earth, you know, for eight long minutes. The deep space network in Goldstone, the old arrays in Arecibo, and every major observatory tuned to the frequency reported the same impossible truth. 3i Atlas was no longer sending a, a wide, drifting transmission into the void. It was firing a focused beam, a needle of electromagnetic energy aimed straight at our world with surgical accuracy. Natural phenomena do not behave this way. A comet does not choose a direction. A wandering rock does not aim with intention. Radio waves scatter like ripples across a pond, fading in every direction. But this signal tightened like a fist, direct, Deliberate, intelligent, you know, engineers ran the orientation data again and again, checking the vector of the beam, the position of Earth, even the rotational timing of 3i Atlas. Every calculation pointed to the same conclusion. This was not coincidence. This was intent, you know, but here's the part that shook mission control to its core, you know, the timing, you know, the shift to a precision beam happened exactly nine days before 3i Atlas would slip behind the sun. Entering the one region where no telescope on Earth could track it, no radar could touch it, and no signal could penetrate the solar glare, it was as though the object were saying, watch closely, this is your last chance to see me. You know, was it a greeting, a warning, a countdown? No one had answers, only rising panic. You know, because the more NASA searched for meaning in the signal, the more it began to feel as if something on the other end was watching us back, studying our response, measuring what we feared, what we hid, what we refused to say out loud. And then, without explanation, something even stranger happened. You know, the world space agencies went silent. You know, stay with me. Because in the next part, the question shifts from what is 3i Atlas doing to why is everyone suddenly afraid to talk about it? Yeah. By dawn on October 21st, something inside NASA had shifted. What began as excitement had curdled into a quiet, heavy fear. The signal from 3i Atlas was real. It was targeted, and it was growing stronger every cycle. Engineers whispered over dark screens. Scientists exchanged uneasy glances. And for the first time since the Deep Space Network was built, the room felt less like a laboratory and more like a bunker, right? And then everything went dark. No announcements, no press releases, no live telemetry. One moment the monitors were filled with cascading data. And the next, every feed froze. A single word replaced them all. Gaustritted across the agency. The silence spread like a shadow, entire rooms were sealed, external lines went dead, even internal communications began to vanish. And soon the whispers began. NASA had triggered something behind closed doors, Li Pai behind Chlor, a rarely spoken of contingency known only as the Discovery Protocol. You know, most people had never heard of it, but those who had knew it was created after the great debate surrounding the strange object known as Oumuamua. It was a step-by-step -step procedure meant to guide the world if humanity ever detected evidence of extraterrestrial technology. Step one, verify the data. You know, step two, alert military and government contacts. You know, step three, enforce a 72-hour blackout before sharing anything with the public. You know, officially, 
It was to prevent mass panic and misinformation unofficially. It was to buy time, you know. But here's where the situation turned from strange to alarming. The 72 hours ended, you know, then five days passed, you know, then a week, and still nothing. No word from NASA, no updates from the European Space Agency, not even a whisper from China's observatories. The global scientific community, normally bursting with chatter, fell into a sudden a natural silence, yeah, I know, until one man broke it, you know, astrophysicist Avi Loeb, director of the Galileo Project, posted a single line that spread through insider channels like wildfire. We are witnessing institutional paralysis in the face of the extraordinary. This is not how science behaves. This is how fear behaves, you know. So what could possibly terrify every major space agency into silence? And stay with me, because in the next part, the theories emerge. And each one is more unsettling than the last, you know. As the silence dragged on and the world's major observatories remained dark, a different kind of voice stepped forward. Not a government official, not a NASA spokesperson, but a theoretical physicist, Simeone, who had nothing to lose and everything to question. And instead of calming the world, he did the opposite. You know, he laid out three possibilities, you know, three interpretations of what 3i Atlas might actually be doing. And each one carried a weight that no one in the room could ignore. The first he called the benign hypothesis. You know, in this version, 3i Atlas was nothing more than an ancient interstellar relic and automated probe launched by a civilization that may have died long before humans ever lit their first fire, its pulses, its patterns, its strange behavior might simply be the equivalent of a cosmic logbook checking in, a quiet whisper drifting across time saying, I see you, I acknowledge your presence. If this was the truth, then we were safe. We were simply observers catching a glimpse of an artifact far older than our species. But then came the second possibility, you know, the warning hypothesis, hypothesis uh, no, according, according to this idea, uh, the timing of the signal right before 3i Atlas disappeared, behind the sun was deliberate. The physicists suggested that the hollow body of the object might contain smaller devices, perhaps smaller probes waiting to deploy while hidden in the blinding solar glare, and the message Again, a subtle but chilling request, go, do not interfere, you know. But the third scenario, that one silenced the room, you know, the test hypothesis, you know, according to this, the entire sequence was never about what 3i Atlas was doing, but about what we would do, the shifting signal, the targeted beam, the silence that followed, all of it could be a stress test designed to measure humanity's reactions to see whether we cooperate or collapse, whether we reveal our fear or hide it behind secrecy, whether we choose truth or panic. You know? you know, because so far the physicists said humanity's response had not been bravery, it had been paralysis, um, which raised a question no one wanted to consider. You know? What if we were never the observers at all? What if we were the experiment? And just as that thought began sinking in, New data surfaced information that suggested 3i Atlas wasn't just signaling us from afar. It might already be watching us. You know, stay with me. Because part six takes us into territory that scientists were terrified to speak about publicly, you know. As new data poured in from telescopes scattered across the world, one truth became harder and harder to ignore. 3i Atlas was not behaving like anything nature had ever produced not a comet, not an asteroid, not even a rogue fragment drifting through space, the deeper scientists looked, the stranger the object became. Until finally the illusion shattered. You know, the first clue was density. Um, you know, when researchers mapped the internal mass distribution of 3i Atlas, the math didn't add up. It wasn't solid. Far from it. The core readings suggested it was hollow lightweight in ways no natural object of its size should ever be. And deep in the control room, as the team debates theories none of them believe, the next pulse arrives. Stronger than any before, the signal that once whispered now thunders. Right? The moment the new pulse hits, 
Every console in the Deep Space Network lights up with alerts. The signal is no longer a quiet, distant tick. It surges with layered structure, like several channels speaking at once through the same narrow beam. The analysts scramble to separate them, filtering frequency by frequency, until one of the channels forms a clean, steady rhythm unlike anything heard from 3i Atlas before. It is slower, measured, intentional. You know, when they convert the fluctuations into an audio profile, the room falls silent. What emerges is not noise. It is a rising and falling cadence that matches the natural resonance of our magnetic field. 3i Atlas is now broadcasting on a frequency that interacts directly with the protective bubble around Earth, testing its boundaries or scanning its integrity. You know, at the same time, the object's brightness shifts by a fraction too precise to be accidental. Telescopes track it as its reflective signature changes from a deep cold hue to a sharper metallic glint, almost like it is reorienting itself, not tumbling, not drifting, turning, pointing, you know, toward us, you know, you know. By the time solar observatories pick up a new ripple forming across the sun's surface, the scientists finally make the the last three pulses from 3i Atlas predicted these solar disturbances before they appeared. And now, with Earth directly aligned between the object and the coming solar event, the signal grows more urgent, each wave carrying escalating harmonic layers. One researcher whispers the thought trembling in everyone's mind, 3i Atlas might not be warning us about itself, but about something else heading our way, you know, before anyone can respond. The object emits a final burst, sharper, more concentrated than any before, and for the first time since its discovery, the signal cuts out. Silence, uh, total, absolute, immediate. You know, don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.